So I just planted one row. I planted, I had about three pounds of sunchokes and I just planted them in a row right on the end of this bed. I had some spinach here and um, some watermelons and whatnot. And uh, so I only had room for this little bit. So I threw them all in here. I heard they can tolerate close quarters. So uh, let's see what we got here. So I don't really know where to start, but I'm gonna start by pulling up, I guess I'm gonna bend these over here so you can see what I'm doing. I'm just gonna start on this end right here and just start pulling these babies up. So let's see what we got. Ooh, good, great. Well, at least we didn't get stumped or uh, skunked. Uh, there's some really beautiful sun chokes right there. Um, not as big as I've seen other people grow, but these are uh, really cool nonetheless. I love the different shapes that you get. And uh, let's, let's keep going here. And also, if you're wondering, I've had a lot of people asking me what this band is on my arm. Um, no, I'm not on probation. Uh, I know it looks like that, but this is actually a jawbone, and I might as well give them a little plug. Very cool. Uh, this is a jawbone bracelet, and um, it actually uh, transmits my my health uh, to my smartphone. Um, I know a lot of people don't like to be connected to their smartphone 24-7. Um, I don't just as much as the next person, but it's really cool. Uh, it tells you how many steps you've stepped. Uh, you can log your, your food. You can also log your sleep. So um, it's really cool. It just helps you to uh, see really how healthy you are. Because um, I figured if I'm going to have a channel where I teach people how to grow their own food, live healthier lives, I might as well be walking the walk as well. You know, If I'm talking the talk, I should be walking the walk. So um, that was just something that I thought I could do and implement, and um, I like it. It's pretty cool. So uh, I think that was the old seed, um, possibly. We'll see. Uh, I know a lot of people said to dig around um, from videos that I've seen. They say that uh, they snap off really easily, so you got to dig around and get your hands dirty, which is great because I like to do that. But I'm not seeing any... That's a weed. I'm not seeing any... Uh, more sun chokes around here, but I'll do one more final check through. Oh, nope, that's not one. <laughs> uh, that's a piece of clay, maybe? I don't know. Oop, there is one. Okay, cool. So I'm going to pull up this next one here, move this out of the way so you can see what we get. And, uh, oh, goodness. All right. <laughs> okay, so that was a, oh, wow, 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 wow. That's a big one. Um, now, I don't know what that's like on, uh, this uh the scale of sun chokes i i've i've seen them to be pretty large but that's hey that's a good one in my in my uh my eyes first year that's pretty decent um you know i've seen them in the store uh and they're they're different sizes so i don't know what the you know what the scale is for a big one versus a small one but uh i'm pleased with that i'm very pleased with that so i also heard as well that you can eat these raw um and they're very delicious raw they have kind of a a nutty taste. So I'm going to try some raw. I'm going to try some in a cooked, because uh, they're apparently like a potato substitute. Um, wow, these are really, really cool. Very cool. Awesome. Well, that one was a good plant. I got quite a bit out of that one. I still have more in here. I'm going to look through the soil, but I think having good fertile soil is pretty much a must for anything. I know a lot of people always ask me, you know, what, what do you put in your what do you put in your beds? And, uh, ooh, that one had some bug damage. Gross, I'll leave that for the bugs. Um, but people always ask me, you know, what what do you add to your soil, Luke, to have such such healthy plants? And I really, <laughs> I really don't mean to sound um, like a jerk by saying this, but I, I just honestly add what, if like, I was a plant, what I would want um, to have myself fed with. So, you know, if that made any sense, like I would not want to be growing in hard clay soil. I'd want to be, in some nice, black, rich compost. I mean, look at this soil. It's beautiful. I mean, I could not have asked for darker soil. And that's because I just grow them in pure compost. Um, you know, it's a, it's, a, a little, it's a little extra work, but that little extra effort usually has amazing payoffs. Um, I mean, I've seen lots better yields on sunchokes, but again, you know, I might just not have fed them enough. Who knows? Um, and maybe they're not getting enough sun because this place does not really get a whole ton of sun. It's um, about uh, about five hours, five six hours. So I know that's the the bare minimum. Um, but again, it's a trial trial and error. I I just go by I just go by uh, 
experience. I learned from my mistakes, so maybe next year I'll put them in a better spot, but um, this one had a lot. Good, good. Hey, we're gonna have, we're gonna have a decent sun choke harvest after all. I, I just wanted enough so I could at least cook them a few different ways, see which way I like them the best. Um, yeah, they got cool shapes there. A lot of smaller ones. Maybe they didn't go long enough. I don't know. Let me know in the comments box below uh, what you think. Um, obviously, it's my first year growing sunchokes, so I will take any uh, any advice um, that you can offer about growing these things. Um, you know, like nutrients, how much you feed them. Um, you know, what you what you feed them. Um, how much sunlight you give them. And stuff like that. So. They're looking good. I got some, wow, I got some really decent sized ones um, for, uh, for my first year. But the biggest plants are actually still to come, so maybe the size of the plant also has to do with the size of the tubers. I'm guessing they're just like potatoes where, you know, the, the, even the little tiny ones are edible. This one is actually attached to uh, this plant right here. Pull this one up here and see what we got. Not bad, not bad at all for three, three or four little, uh, I basically planted uh, four one pound kind of clusters of them. I didn't really know what to do, so I just planted the whole root. Maybe that might've been a mistake, but um, I basically just planted the whole root and uh, kind of just crossed my fingers and hope for the best um, but maybe that maybe you have to do that uh, the same thing with potatoes you know how you kind of cut up the potatoes into different sections maybe I have to do that next year too uh, we'll try we'll see we'll see they're still getting quite a few around here I'm it's like potatoes you never you never you never get them all they're always there's always that one or one or two that get left behind and uh, they'll be the first ones to sprout in the springtime which I do suppose is probably not that bad of a thing because it um, it ensures that you have many years of of sun chokes because the the uh, the little tubers you leave behind will just sprout and make new ones. All right. Well, I think that's just about it. I uh, rooted around here. I rooted around in this uh, stuff for quite a while, and um, I didn't mind that I didn't find all that much because it's uh, <laughs> it's definitely fun to have your fingers in the dirt. Um, very cold soil too, mind you. It is getting very, very cold at night, and uh, the soil is um, very loose. I'm very, very pleased with this, and um, hopefully next year I can have a little better harvest. Uh, but nonetheless, I think that is going to be enough for a couple meals at least. We probably got uh, uh, at least at least two pounds. I'm probably not the best. I planted three pounds, only got two pounds, but might be more than that in there. Who knows? But I'm happy with what I did get. Well, I thank you all for coming along for this very exciting episode. I'm definitely gonna be growing these next year. Um, plus, I, I just really like a challenge, and uh, these are cool. They're very cool, very simple to grow. Um, again, I probably, probably could have done more. I just threw them in the ground and did what I did to everything else, but there might have been some finite things that I skipped right over. But next year, we're gonna do it big. I'm, I'm gonna plant the whole bed out, I think. Um, and these were uh, sunchokes that I had gotten from the store. I basically went to Whole Foods and I went to their, uh, their, I guess maybe like root section. I don't, it's in their, their fresh produce section. And I got some organic sunchokes. Um, they were very inexpensive. And, uh, and uh, I just bought some, some decent sized roots that I thought would look pretty healthy. And I just basically threw them in the ground. So uh, you can do it the same way, I think. Uh, it obviously worked. Um, but, uh, let me know also if there are such things as sunchoke sets, because I know there's potato sets and you don't want to start potatoes from the store um, because they can have uh, been sprayed with some sprout inhibitors that, that make them less than ideal to grow. Um, and this might be the same way. I have not done enough research on this and uh, definitely definitely not going to act like I know what I'm talking about with sunchokes because um, I definitely don't. So uh, there you go. That is all I got for you today. Thank you all for tuning in. I appreciate it. It's cold. I'm going to go inside and warm up, make some dinner. And I'll uh, catch you all later on next episode. I hope you all enjoyed. Hope you learned something new, because uh, I certainly did. And I'll talk to you all later. This is Luke from My Gardener, hoping you're growing big or going home. I'll catch you all later. See ya. Bye.